Hey, Shalom, 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 Akims. Uh, first and foremost, giving all praises into Yahweh, Bashim El Shah, Bashim Rakakodash, uh, giving double honors to our masters, the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, Shalom, salutation to all you sincere Akims across the four winds, pushing this truth with sincerity of heart. Kasama God from your DC camp, coming at you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim El Shah, Bashim Rakakodash. Uh, this video is about, um, you know, um, the economy, man, and, and I've always been one, brothers that know me know, I've always been one to say, you know, dating, you know, 10, going back to 10 years, you know, from the very beginning, uh, that um, a lot of the major prophecies um, would only really come down and um, when the economy collapsed, you know, it was, I figured out very early that it's all about the money, uh, it's all about the money, the money is the blood of a nation, and um, the way Esau conducts himself in this economy, and remember the word economy is household management. It just lets you know that um, it's just a matter of time before his house collapses, okay? Because his house is built on sand economically. Now, as you see right here, this is RT. Um, you know, the title, it says hashtag, ha hashtag drop gold. Peter Schiff responds. Now, of course, it's been going on like this. Been a hashtag going on online about dropping gold and replacing gold with bitcoins. As you see right here, you have Max Kaiser. This is the Max Kaiser show on uh, Max Kaiser Report, which he's a well-known economics and a uh, former stock bro stockbroker who's really uh, big on bitcoins. You know, he makes a lot of his money on bitcoins. And then on the on the left, you have. Um, the one with the suit, you know, and the gray head, that's Peter Schiff. Now, me, I'm a big fan of Peter Schiff because now he's known for uh, selling gold. And um, and he pretty much bets on the collapse of the American economy. So um, so he pretty much, the way he is, he, be he believes that, which he knows, that the economy is going to collapse. So people are going to run towards gold and the price of gold is going to skyrocket. So he's betting against America and that's how he's going to strike rich. All right. So as they were going into this this episode right here, they were pretty much going back and forth. And um, and uh, Max Kaiser was talking about how the market is demanding um for uh, bitcoins. But you know, my man Peter Schiff was like, well, but bitcoins is not real money. It's not. It's 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 really substance just for transaction for now. But real money, real assets, you know, money doesn't get the the money that doesn't get the value is gold. And it's amazing that they were even having a discussion like that when both of them were stockbrokers. Now, it says right here, it says, In this episode of the Kaiser Report, Max and Stacy discuss the end of recession. Well, that's the first part. There you go. The second part says, In the second half, Max interviews Peter Schiff about the hashtag drop gold campaign started by Barry Silbert as a way of marketing his cryptocurrency business. That's what it is. The man is just trying to market his cryptocurrency business. But if the economy collapses, the, the uh, um, Bitcoins cannot save your assets. Okay? When the economy collapses, the only assets that will be acknowledged will still remain first and foremost gold and second silver, man. All right? You can't get it twisted. And, and we're going to find out, I'm sure, in the scriptures that that's the Heavenly Father who established that, man. He established the proper currency that, that must be used on, on this realm, okay? It says, Max also asked Peter what he got wrong about the aftermath of the financial crisis when he predicted an, an economy and markets that would be nowhere near the all-time high at which they are today. What? Because Peter Schiff has um, pretty much... um. Uh, you know, said that the American economy is going to collapse each and every year and it hasn't happened yet. So therefore, people keep going at him like, well, what's up? You know, you've been saying the economy is going to collapse, but it hasn't collapsed yet. Well, the reason why is because you're having a lot of wickedness going on in this economy. Um, you have, you know, something called, first of all, you got something called negative. But before we go into that, let's, let's go with the currency, man. Let's go with, with the Heavenly Father, how about you, man, shall establish his currency. This is Genesis chapter 13. I'm going to start at 1. It says, and Abram, known as Abraham, Abram went up out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, meaning his substance, and lot with him in the south. And Abraham was very rich in cattle 
in silver and in gold. See, that's those are the re, those are the real substance. That's the real riches. Okay, physical riches, not spiritual riches. Physical currency. Cause there's such thing. There's such a thing as a spiritual currency and a physical currency. Okay, the physical currency in this physical realm is gold, silver, and cattle. All right, which the cattle comes with the land. Okay, and that's never ever gonna go away, man. You don't drop gold for a trans trans uh, uh, um a, a temporary uh, uh transitory uh, uh currency such as Bitcoin. The economy is getting ready to collapse. The word for gold is zaab, right? It's a za, a ha, and a ba. Zaab, okay. The the word for uh silver is, is ka, sa, and a pa. And the, and the word for a cattle is uh sa ma, kwa. Na ha maquana. Okay? So those are real substance, man. Now, one of the reasons why this economy is still afloat and it makes it look as if Peter Schiff doesn't know what he's talking about, although he's dead on he's he's on point, is because of this thing called this amazing thing called negative interest rates. Okay? Which if you know anything about economy, because I went to school and um, I took business 101, business 201. Um, my major was business administration and then business, business management for the little bit of years that I went to college, community college, really. And it was just certain things that were basic economy, man. Like, you already knew that printing money out of thin air was garbage, right? And you already knew that having high interest rates were actually really good for the economy. Lower interest rate was bad. That means people weren't making no money. People, people don't make no money off a lower interest rate. But then you got this new thing called negative interest rate. <laughs> and you, and like I said, it, I'm just going to read it. It says, what are negative interest rates? Negative interest rates refer to a scenario in which cash deposits incur and charge for storage at a bank rather than receiving interest income. When you put your money in the bank, you're supposed to receive the interest on the money that you put on the bank. It says, instead of receiving money on deposits in the form of interest, depositors must pay regularly to keep their money in a bank. So you, <laughs> you put money in the bank. The money, your money is supposed to make money. That's why you put the shit on the bank. Okay? Because you could just put the shit on, under your fucking bed. Excuse my language. You could put your, if I don't want my money to multiply, I just leave my money under my, uh, um, um, in my bed. You know what I'm saying? Under my bed. But the reason why I put my money in the bank is so that the interest, right, I can get the money back with interest. That's the main reason I have in the bank. Okay? But now you got to pay to put your money in the bank. So you're losing. You're purposely losing. Why? Just to keep the banks running so that the economy won't collapse. Your the depositors are it's like they're losing. It's like I'm giving you fifty dollars and I gotta give you five dollars. I gotta give you a dollar every day for you to keep my fifty dollars. Now why the hell would I want to do that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this whole idea of negative interest rate is I mean that is complete wickedness. That is outrageous, man. But it's been going on for the past what the past three four years. You know, with negative about two years. Because they had low interest rates, now they have negative interest rates. That's how low ESO is willing to go to keep this bullshit ass economy running, man. Sad, man. But now let's deal with the spiritual. Because see, the spiritual substance, the spiritual riches, man. You know, the spiritual currency, which is this truth, does not have negative interest rate, man. You know, it's high interest rate on this. The return on this truth. Is gonna be double, triple, a thousand times what we put in, man. We gonna put in a hundred, a hundred percent. We gonna get ten, a hundred thousand percent back, man. High interest rate, man. All right, this is Proverbs three and thirteen. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. That's spiritual currency, and it comes with high interest rate, man. You know, outrageously high interest rate. 
and the gain thereof then find gold. Okay? So Esau, the wicked, the devil that he is, he's on the total opposite side, dealing with negative interest rate. When I'm giving him my money, and I got to pay him to keep my fucking money, man. When the Most High said, you give me your money, which is your time to gain this wisdom, spread this wisdom, I'm going to give you an interest on it, a high interest on it. You know what I'm saying? And that, that let you know, man, it's just Esau just operating on, on, on a whole nother, on a, on a whole nother side of things, man. This is um, Sirach chapter 27 of the Apocrypha. Ecclesiasticus 27 and 2, it says, As a nail sticketh fast between the joinings of the stones, so does sin sticketh close between buying and selling. This is sin, man. This this negative interest rate is sin. It's wickedness, man. Okay? It's wickedness, man. You know, why the hell am I giving you $50 to keep my money, and then I got to pay you a dollar a day for you to keep my money? I can just keep my money. If I keep my money and, and that dollar a day, I keep that, I end up with more money. But you got to do that. Why? It's just so that they, you can keep this bullshit ass economy running. Right? This garbage economy running. You printing money out of thin air. It's not backed by any real substance or physical substance. Real physical substance. Bitcoins ain't going to cut it. So you shouldn't be dropping your gold. If you got physical gold, you should get more gold. But really what you want is that spiritual gold. It's that spiritual substance, man. It's this truth as an Israelite, so-called Negro, Hispanic, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The elect, man, the hopeful elect, all we worried about really is that spiritual currency. Because that comes with high interest rates, okay? I The money you're going to get back on the, on the other side is going to be crazy, okay? So, um... This is uh, Sirach chapter 10 verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, financial dealings, injuries and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So really, the negative interest rate, man, is just a sign of, you know, the demise of the economy, man. I mean, you went from having high interest rates when your, the economy was booming from the 50s, 60s, all the way down to the, um, all the way up to the early 2000s to having low interest rates. In 2007, when that crash came out, and now in 2019, you have negative interest rate. Esau, you out of here, man. You Edomites, you devils, you so-called white people, man. You're out of here. Your economy is trash. Your philosophy is trash. Your democracy is trash. Everything that you put your hand on turns into shit, okay? But us, listen, man, we got a kingdom coming, man. All the, all the work we put in, all the sacrifices that we put in, brothers, man, listen, the Lord is going to give us spiritual currency a thousand times more on a high interest. And then we also going to get physical currency, man. This I'm going to finish with this, man. This is Revelation 21, okay, when it describes how the kingdom is going to be built, okay? Revelation 21 and 21, it says, And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold. As it were, transparent glass. So we're going to have so much gold. We're going to use gold to build the city. That's high interest rate, man. That's high interest rate, man. From your how about shit, man. We're going to get a thousand times what we're putting in right now, man. Instead of being in Esau's kingdom when you got to give him money to keep your money. What kind of shit is that? Anyways, man. Hope you brothers was edified, man. Hey. Hashtag drop gold. What the hell, man? Hey. Negative interest rate garbage. Carl Halayam, Carl Halayam, Yahweh Shimel Shah, double honest to our apostles, the elders, a great millstone. Shalom to you, sincere elect, man. Shalom.